What's up YouTube, it's JL Folks from Road Angler TV. I want to do something a little bit different for this video. I kind of wanted to uh, talk about the history of this YouTube channel and why I got started doing a fishing YouTube channel and kind of my background as a musician and everything. So for the last like 10 years, I've been performing professionally as a musician and I've toured with some pretty big acts and played guitar for some really big people, opened up for big people like Johnny Winter and uh, Tab Benoit in the, in the blues world. And I got to this point in my career where I just got really burnt out because I was playing about 200 to 250 shows a year. So pretty much three to seven days a week I was playing shows. And that just became my life. I was just constantly on the road and playing locally in South Florida. And always, every night I was up late, you know, playing shows and everything. And I got to this point where I needed some inspiration for my writing because all I was doing was playing. And I remember back when I was a kid, like, I always was outside and I was always like playing in the woods and catching crawdads out of the creek and different things like that. And, you know, I went to South Carolina, I was on tour, and my cousin and a couple of my friends took me down the Saluda River on kayaks, and I had never been kayaking before, and this was like an experience I've never had. I thought it was so much fun. I brought a couple GoPros with me and filmed the whole adventure, and I just thought the kayaks just like looked so cool, it was so much fun, and it was just like a sense of freedom, like being out there on the water. And, you know, kind of just with my friends and not surrounded by a bunch of people. And that was the day that I kind of fell in love with kayaking. And I've always been fishing. My dad used to take me fishing when I was real little. I actually got a video on this channel of catching my first fish at like two or three years old. But I never took fishing seriously until a few years ago. And once I discovered kayaking, then I started like searching YouTube and kind of figured out that there was this new sport called kayak fishing. And I thought it was cool because I've always liked fishing and I recently fell in love with kayaking. And you didn't need to uh, own a boat to be able to get out on the water and catch fish. So I thought that was awesome. So I decided to start kayak fishing and I bought my first kayak. It was a uh, Pelican Argo 100. I think it was like $200 or something, but it got me out on the water. It wasn't the best kayak, but it was a beginner kayak and it got me out there. And soon after that, you know, I started taking it more seriously and invested into my first Vibe kayak, which is, which was a Yellowfin 100. And since then I've upgraded to like a Seaghost 110 and Yellowfin 120. But still that Yellowfin 100, I still love that boat. It's an awesome boat. That's what kind of started it all, being able to get out on the water. But it was also the fact that me and my bass player moved into this place in South Florida that had a lake in our backyard. And one day I went out there and made a few casts and pulled up a peacock bass. And I thought that was really cool to be able to catch these exotic fish in my backyard. So being able to just put the Elephant 100 there in my backyard and just get out on the water and catch fish was another game changing experience for me. So at that time, I kind of started making videos and I wasn't really doing anything with them. I kind of kept the footage and you know put it on Facebook or and stuff like that. but. You know, I started making videos and started putting them up on my artist channel and I realized right away that I wasn't going to get the feedback that I was wanting. Especially since my artist channel is more to target guitar playing and my artistry as a whole. So by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my artist channel, check out the link in the description. It's an awesome channel. I'm trying to get it monetized. Every subscriber counts. So if you want to support this channel and that channel, go ahead and subscribe to my artist channel. So. That was kind of the point where I decided that I wanted to start a separate YouTube channel that was dedicated to fishing and specifically kayak fishing. I'll never forget, I was on the road and me and my bass player, we we're in my van and we we're going somewhere through West Virginia out in the middle of nowhere. I was talking to my bass player and I was like, what am I going to call it? And we probably exchanged names out of boredom for about three hours, like hundreds of different names kind of popped up. Some were corny, some were pretty cool. But, you know, at that time we had been on the road for I think a solid month and a half and we played like 40 shows back to back or something, it was something crazy like that. And this idea came in my head like, all right, so I'm always on the road and I'm an angler and kind of make it this thing like, 
a, a road angler TV. So that was the kind of the, the name that we stuck with. And since then, you know, I created a pretty awesome little intro. I remember going out and making my first video. It's actually with my bass player, Michael. And we went to this private pond and hooked on some giant bass. It was awesome. That was the first video for Road Angler TV. But, you know, starting a YouTube channel has its ups and downs. It's definitely a long-term commitment. So the question is, should you start a YouTube channel at this time in 2020? And the answer is yes. Uh, there's more people on YouTube than ever, especially with the whole COVID-19 thing and quarantine. Everyone's been on YouTube. So YouTube is a great thing, and it's a great thing to make a little extra money to as well. The number one reason why you should start a fishing YouTube channel is because it's a place where you can keep all your memories. And that was probably my number one reason for starting Road Angler TV is, you know, I, was, I wasn't really that concerned with come, becoming a big uh, fishing YouTube star or tournament angler. I was more focused on just filming my adventures and having a place where I could go back and watch them. The amazing thing with YouTube is, you know, you could have all these videos and your hard drive uh, break down on you and you could lose all these memories, but YouTube stores them all and you can still download them from YouTube as well. So I decided that was my number one reason to start a fishing YouTube channel was just to have those memories and to go back and go, hey, remember that day we caught that awesome fish or we went down the river? That was my goal originally for Road Angler TV. And then also kind of getting my music out there as well so people could discover it and want to use it in their videos as well. But since then, my goals have changed quite a bit and I've decided to take YouTube more seriously, especially since I monetize and YouTube's helping me out a little bit by promoting some of my videos. And it's actually a great little extra income coming in. You know, granted I only make, you know, at two, about 2,000 subscribers, I make a little over $50 a month from YouTube revenue. Now there's other ways you can make money besides that, but I'm gonna save that for another video. But it's another great little revenue stream you can have on the side. But if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, um, I would say that one of the most important things you need, you need to know going into YouTube is that it's a long-term commitment. And that means that you have to commit to YouTube for several years before you really gain any traction. So my goal from the beginning was to upload at least one video once a week. And if I could do more, then great. And I've kept that up for the last two and a half years now. And, you know, I'm at 2,000 subscribers and the more subscribers you get, and once you get monetized, then YouTube starts uh, throwing you some kickbacks and promoting some of your videos more than they did originally. So if you're uploading a lot and you're not getting the views, just keep uploading, target good keywords, and eventually it'll snowball and it can take off. So that is probably the most important thing to know if you're going to start a YouTube channel is it's a long-term commitment. You can't post 10 videos and take a month or two off and expect your numbers to be the same. Because a lot of subscribers, once they subscribe, they may never come to your YouTube channel again. Keep your subscribers happy and you have to keep uploading pretty much as often as you can because every time you upload, that's just another way for your channel to, to snowball and for your channel to get discovered or for a video to, to just randomly take off and you increase your chances by just uploading as much as you can. Now, it's also very important that when you upload that you're producing the best quality you can. So quality over quantity, I would say is still number one. And as far as quality goes, this is another thing that you may not know, and that is that audio is more important than the video itself. So if you don't have like the best GoPro or the best camera, don't worry about it because there's so many huge YouTubers out there that do not have the most top of the line cameras that have a million subscribers or whatever. The most important thing you need is audio. So get yourself a good mic if you can and make sure there's just not a lot of noise and everything. You don't need to have the best editing software either. Actually, at this point in time, I'm still using iMovie and eventually I'm gonna upgrade to some better programs, but for fishing videos, you really don't need a top of the line program because 
a lot of the editing is in the video itself because uh, you know I, I guess if you went out on the water and didn't have a really good day of fishing that video may need more editing than a video where you're just you know slaying fish so keep that in mind if you want to start a YouTube channel I've got two channels I got my artist channel and I've got Roding or TV which is my outdoors vlog and yeah that's how I got started I hope you guys liked the video if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me and I'll be uh, sure to answer them reach out in the comments I'll respond back to you and yeah best of luck to anyone out there that's thinking about starting a fishing YouTube channel it's a lot of work but it can be uh, really beneficial so keep at it keep posting and yeah I'll catch you on the next one peace Thank you.